You have tuned in to Mary Precious Jones Huntsville, better known as Precious. And guys, I will be coming to you today talking about tax liens. And if you want to hear what I have to say, just keep watching. I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in today. Thank you so much for all of my returning viewers. I really do appreciate that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the tax lien. So before I do that, I do have a disclaimer that I want to present. This video is not to be used for financial, taxes, or legal advice. This is for educational only, and if you need legal advice, you should contact Legal Help I am a licensed real estate broker. Okay, so I got that out of the way. All right, so that was my disclaimer. And I will also have it in the description box below. Okay, this is Mary Jones with a Vision Realty here in Huntsville, Alabama. And I am a licensed real estate broker. So I am coming to you today just to talk about, you know, the tax lien. I talked about the tax lien in a previous video. I talked about make sure you get your title pulled. Don't depend on the REO lender to pull your title. I talked about that one in a previous video. And I also talked about the vegetation uh, lien. Okay, that is in the previous video as well. So I will have the links to those particular videos down in the description box so you can go and listen to those if you like to. Okay, so let's talk about um, let's talk about tax lien. Okay, we all know that tax liens or anything coming from the government, uh, like your county government, um, state government, IRS, those are all your uh, government lien or tax liens that as you would say, because you can get uh, a lien placed on your house if you owe the IRS, that can become a tax lien. If you have not been paying your taxes on your house, that can become a tax lien. Well, the government can place a lien on your house for any collection that you are not paying. I'm trying to put it as simple as possible. Because I'm talking to the first time home buyers, okay? Okay, let's get into this tax lien thing. Okay, with the tax lien, it takes precedence over any other lien. You can have a mechanic lien on your house. And oh, that's something else I talked about, mechanic lien, so that's in another video. So you can have a mechanic lien on your house, but when it comes down to if you got also a tax lien on your house, the tax lien is going to go over the mechanic lien. And the mechanic lien is where a contractor, someone came and did work on your house and you guys couldn't come to a meeting of a mind after he had, you know, did the work and for some reason or not, you chose not to pay him. They can go down and pull a lien on your house. Okay, the tax lien. When they place that tax lien on your house, it's like, you got to pay that, okay? You have to pay the tax lien. And then, reverting this back to, if you buy a REO property, and there's a tax lien on that house that has not been paid, and if you purchase that REO property, then you are going to be liable for that tax lien. That is the reason why I keep stressing, make sure you get your title pool, okay? Because there can be a tax lien on that house and the lender, or your lender knows it, but they're gonna go ahead on and, and push the house off. The government, they are going to get their money. So if you got the house in your possession and that has not been paid, they're going to make sure that they get that money when that um, 
when that house transfer into your name and you have no idea that there's a tax lien on it and the bank just slid it on over to you just like that, guess what? That tax lien is on that house, okay? Well, you have to satisfy that. It's just, just period. So I'm still talking about making sure that you get that title uh, work pulled. So that's how the tax lien came up into this particular video. So that's why I'm talking about the tax lien because I'm trying to make you aware that all of this will show up if you go ahead on and get that title work pulled from somebody that you trust, okay? Because you do not want a tax lien on the house that you purchased. You want to make sure all of that is taken care of. Okay guys, on the tax lien, we know now that the tax lien is any collection that the owner, previous owner did not pay. If they did not pay their property taxes, um, that can be a lien. And then the property taxes, you know, they sell houses every year in May. For people that have not paid their taxes, your house gets sold, okay? And also, like I said, the IRS can come in and seize your house, sell your property, make sure they get what you owe them. So that's why it's so important for you to make sure that title work is pulled. Um, the title work is very broad. It's, it covers a lot of different things that we don't even realize it covers. Because most time when buyers go to closing, they don't think about what the purpose of getting title work pulled or title search, all of that. It is very important, so that's why. So when you see where you have to pay for a title search, buyers, that's why. Because they trying to protect you if you close with your attorney. They making sure that they put in the title work so you won't have any surprises once you get that house and say maybe a couple years down the road and then all of a sudden here comes somebody showing up saying, you know, oh, they got uh, ownership in this house as well. That can be your biggest nightmare. So. That's why I'm trying to make sure that you understand what I'm trying to get over to you about getting that title work pulled. Don't depend on um, the lender that you purchasing the REO property from to pull your title. You need to take responsibility and make sure that you calling your attorney and having that title work pulled. And I can't stress it enough because I've been through a situation like this in my um, real estate field. So I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just reading a book and saying, okay, this, this is what's going to happen. No, I am speaking from experience, okay? Okay, guys, so that's all I have for the, the tax lien because I don't want to make this video long. I just want to keep them short and sweet. And you can just come back to me. Uh, you can just... Stay tuned for my next video and I will continually upload new real estate videos every week. And guys, you will find all of my information down in the description box. If you ever need my help, just text me or email me. I'm on all social media, okay? Alright, so this is all I have for right now. And I am going to sound off. And I will see you in the next video and I will see you in the future because your future looks good on you. Bye-bye.